And right now at 11, new details just coming into our newsroom about the officer involved shooting near the Jacksonville Zoo today, where a canine was shot after a chase and forced the zoo into lockdown. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Heather Crawford. We have team coverage for you tonight and we begin with on your side's Destiny McKeever, who joins us live from near the zoo with the latest on the investigation. Destiny. Well, Heather, as you know, we've been here all afternoon since about three o'clock today when this scene first started as officers surrounded this zoo parkway area as they were getting calls about a suspect at large in the area. Now take a look here. You can see this video from earlier today just showing you painting a picture of the scene of where we were earlier today. Here's what that scene looked like as police staged their tactical units near Zoo Parkway. In the last couple hours, though, JSO gave us a brief update on what happened. They said they were called to Commonwealth and Division Streets around 2 p.m. for shots fired, and then officers later saw a vehicle near 45th and Moncrief area matching the suspect vehicle description. Once police spotted that vehicle, there was an exchange of gunfire between the suspect and police, which then led to a chase. The chase ended near Zoo Parkway area where we are now after the suspect crashed into another car and hit a fence near the back of the zoo. That's why the zoo had to be on somewhat of a lockdown. Officers let their canine officer go and the suspect fired at the canine hitting the dog and the canine was rushed to an animal hospital in Jacksonville Beach and is out of surgery right now and stable. Here's what police had to say about that canine officer. The canine is currently out of surgery and is in stable condition. In this incident, uh, officers at the scene decided to um, place the, the canine on our police helicopter and we transported the canine office, the canine to the beach, uh, Jacksonville Beach Veterinarians uh, Clinic up there. Now that suspect was taken into custody and had to be treated for some medical injuries, medical emergency, and we're told the two other people who were involved in this, who were in that suspect vehicle, they were found dead in this scene area uh, shortly after that police chase. So of course, as we get more details and more information and in, we'll keep you posted on firstcoastnews.com. Reporting live tonight from North Jacksonville, I'm Destiny McKeever, First Coast News on your side.